All right, introduce yourself, young man. Hi, my name is Jordan. Okay, Jordan, what type of dealership did you go to? I went to uh, the Porsche dealer across the street. Oh boy, okay. Was that this morning or last night? That was last night. Okay, tell us about that. Um, well, I drove in and, and uh, it was kind of like confusing the way the, the parking situation was. So you sure. Have to, you, you have to park out back. Right. So I parked out back. They have a really small showroom. And I was just curious, like, you know, I didn't want to go right in. There was actually cars I was interested in outside. So I walked outside and I could see, like, when I looked through the glass, I could see that they, people were looking at me. Right. But nobody like really came out to help me or anything. So I stood out there for five minutes and I went into the, the showroom mm -hmm. after I looked at the car I was potentially interested in. Right. And I was immediately in, uh, met by the manager. And the manager basically said, are you interested in buying today? And I said, uh, no, I'm really just looking. And he just kind of ran away. Wow. And I was like, okay. How did you know he was a manager? Did he introduce himself as a manager? Um, I just sort of, I guess, assumed he was the manager because okay. he looks like more right. in charge. Did he I, ask you your name? Nope. Okay. And so after that, I was like, whoa, okay. And I walked over and I started looking at another car. There was a salesperson on the floor and he was helping another customer. Right. He was the only person there, but he actually, you know, as I was looking at the car, he's like, you know, if you give me a moment, I'll, I'll be with you in a second. Okay. So the... The salesperson, and then when the other guy walked away, he came up to me. He didn't do like a formal um, meet and greet like we were right. known. Like he just sort of jumped right into it. Like which car were you looking at? Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. It wasn't. Uh, I thought he was like a, a nice guy, but I didn't think like he was a salesman. Right. And I told him I was interested in the one car, and you know, he gave me the price on the car. It was a used one. And uh, what was, was the price? It was 60000 Okay. And um, he didn't really go into detail. I mean, I made up some story about, like, oh, my girlfriend would kill me if I bought this car today. It's sort of right. a deal. Uh -huh. And uh, he's like, come on. It doesn't matter what the girlfriend says. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I was like, okay. okay. He's not married, obviously. Yeah. He has like, no girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, he talked me up a little bit, but then he was like, I'm the only salesperson here, and, you know, this other customer was here before, I have to go tend to him. So he was actually waiting on you as he's waiting on another one? Yes. Okay. That's rude. So that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't, if you're a real customer, that doesn't make you feel too important, right? No, it really doesn't, but I mean, I look at it as, you know, they were understaffed. This guy's Definitely understaffed. He, he, he was trying to do the right thing. Um, but I think what happened to, to begin with, the person you assumed was a, a manager, yeah. could have been a salesperson, or you know what, if I'm a manager, am I too good to wait on somebody if the staff is busy? Right. Lead that's, by example, right? That's what I thought. I was Lead thinking, by why example. Is the manager doing it? So, what did, if that was the manager? One of the first lessons in class that we learned, and I had you guys um, kind of look at me and size me up and tell me about me, and you guys, nobody nailed it, right? Nobody had all the information exactly. So, and then you did a proper interview, but then I told you about the judge of the book by the cover story. Yeah. Do you think that's what happened there? Yeah, probably. Okay. He saw me, and especially when he said, I said I wasn't interested in buying, just, just, yeah. just sort of walked away. Well, I mean, you got cars anywhere from sixty to hundred something thousand dollars. Right. Uh, that's a lot of money to spend. So, I mean, clearly to spend that kind of money, you've got to earn the right to ask for the business. So if there is no sales process or if there's no motion, logically, wow, that's a lot of money. Maybe I'm in over my head, right? right? Yeah, or maybe you have multi-millions in a bank or who, who knows? They don't know your story. So where, what would you have done different in that uh, scenario? If I was the, I mean, really, I, I look at the fault as the manager and the manager should have greeted me properly. Yes. If nothing else, if this guy, if the salesperson really was busy, why, why wouldn't the manager come up and help me himself Right. if he knows that he's only got one guy working and he's not doing anything at that time? Right. And with a proper interview, maybe that $60,000 used car, at the end of the day, we determine it's not the car for you. But with a proper interview, there's some backup plans, right? Yeah. Isn't that why it's so important to do a proper interview? Because mm -hmm. maybe they've got a vehicle on the lot maybe half that price, you know, and so maybe... That one would work, kind of maybe your starter Porsche, you know what I mean? So you, you never know. Yeah. You got to start a process, ask the questions, can't just assume. Round of applause.